stretchy. Yeah. I heard that noise. Uh, whip. Ha! Oh, wait. It's you first. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Ed. And this is the, the Jay and Ed Variety Show. Show. Episode 11, season... S nope. Epi season 11, yeah. episode 7. Eight. Right? Eight. We miscounted the one week. Well, we're we'll counting it right this week. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, this very weekend, Jason, tell us all about it. The event. The event. Creatively named. Um, this is huge, man. When we there are so many people coming. Yeah, we uh, we planned this little thing with a bunch of people. Yep. And when we originally started playing, we were like, we'll we'll be happy if we get 150 people. We'll be over the moon if we get 200. And then what happened? As of today, 325 people are signed up for so this So if event. you were over the moon at 200, you were literally almost over the moon and back. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. So uh, tonight that's, that's is a lot. our deadline. Um, you can still sign up tonight online. Yep. Go to the website, registrate, game on. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's folks from all over Pittsburgh. It's going to be great. Uh, not this weekend, mm -hmm. not the weekend after that, mm -hmm. but the weekend after that. Yeah. February 3rd, Saturday night, middle school catacombs. Oh! Y'all are already signing up. Keep on signing up. Bring friends and stuff. It's a great night. Should I explain it again? I mean, yeah. Hide and seek in the dark throughout the whole church with teams and points. Mm. It's a five point plan. Yeah, starting with the first one. Speaking of the first one. Jason, I was thinking today about about two hour delays. Oh yeah. Cause there's been a lot. It's been like all two hour delays and a cancellation or two in there. Can and I tell you how nervous I am? I know nothing about what's coming. No, you have, there's literally no reason to be nervous. It's just a quiz. Like, I, I know, you're, I know you're that. Fire. No, this is to relax you. So you, <laughs> you know how some teachers will put on like, well, you can't do that with keystones. It's just like, sit in this prison of a room and take the test. Yeah. But like, we, I want to, I want, I want it to be relaxing right. for you. I feel soothed. Jason, there, there are two potential answers to this. Mm -hmm. This is not part of the quiz. Okay. What do you think is the best part of a two-hour delay? Sleeping in. Yeah, okay, that was what I was hoping you would say. Uh -huh. The other potential, which I think is probably my real answer, is short of classes, classes right? Which short is a great combination. Yeah, that's it's true. It's not either or. It's, it's kind of unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I want to focus on sleeping in today. Yeah. Okay. And I, I know you've talked about this. And maybe you've had this experience. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you like wake up to a school, and then it turns out you have a two-hour delay. Are, can you go back to sleep? Yes. You can. I could immediately. That is excellent. Turn Good. Around and go back to Good. sleep. Good. Okay, then you won't need any of these innovations. Oh my! Don't look at my sheet. You know, don't, don't peek. You can. I mean, it's like you just you know yeah. just don't look at it. So I have uh, five sleep innovations here. Okay. They are either going to be totally true or totally false. Okay. Like totally, it's a, a real innovation or something from the demented mind of Ed Sullivan. Exactly. Yeah. There will not be like, well, it was partially real, therefore, ha ha ha, tricked right. you. Right, right. And you need to tell me whether that thing is a real thing or a fake thing. Okay. Okay. I can do this. All right. I feel good about this. In no particular order, mm -hmm. Under Armour, the clothing company, yeah. has released a, a, a line of pajamas called TB12. For Tom Brady, number 12. I already hate this. Tom Brady has high-end sleepwear. Here's, I, I've got a description for each of them. Ready? Yeah. Here's the description for Tom Brady's uh, high-tech pajamas. The soft, bioceramic print on the inside of the sleepwear absorbs natural heat and reflects far infrared back to the skin, helping the body sleep better and recover faster. Is this real... Give me, a, give me that description one more time. Just very quick. The soft bioceramic print on the inside of the sleeper absorbs natural heat and reflects far infrared back to the skin, 
helping the body sleep better and recover faster. That is true. That is true. I'm sad to say that that's is, true. That is totally true. I didn't think you would come up with something called bioceramic. No, no, yeah. Uh -huh. I actually, when I put that on there, I was like, that's going to be the giveaway. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, good. P.S. Everybody hates Tom Brady still, right? We're all on board with that. Yeah. I want his pajamas, though. Yeah, I mean, I'll wear his <laughs> I'll wear his nighties. They had good reviews. <laughs> anyway, okay, second thing. Yeah. There's a sleep app developed by NASA. It says its claim to fame is its ability to find your, quote, natural bedtime via analysis of your sleep patterns and then encourage you to get yourself to bed as close to it as possible. Mm. I'm going to say not true because NASA doesn't have money anymore. <laughs> that's a good point, but it is true. Oh, they have money and that's what they're spending it on? <laughs> yeah. Uh. NASA's sleep app. Okay. I download that. Yeah, get it. All right. Thing three. The iPhone scent puffer. They have customizable scent cartridges that fit on the, the earbud part of the phone and release scent from your iPhone on command. The lavender one is apparently tailored to relax users into a sweet snooze. False. It's true! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore! It's the iPhone scent puffer. Man! All right. Wait, they don't even have earphones anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's old technology. No! I guess it's old technology. Innovation, he says. It's Bluetooth. <laughs> Next innovation, you can tell me about is goose down pillows. I'll skip that one then. No. <laughs> All right, so you're one for three. Yeah, I need All to right. pick it up here. This next one is called Nightingale. Mm. It's a nice name. It looks like a simple wall plug, like like just like an outlet. Yeah. Um, but you get two of them, and you place them in different parts of the room. And it says these units will wrap your bedroom in a blanket of sound that is specific to the room's acoustics. Hmm. Nightingale. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's false, because one of these has to be false. It's true! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, I am the false! <laughs> so you are one for four. Ah, good, I'm doing great. All right, last one. It's, <laughs> right, it's, made up. it's called the Magnus False! <laughs> the Magnusphere. Okay. The ultimate it's called, it claims to be the ultimate stress reducer, according to the makers of the Magnusphere. So I want you to picture you do you ever see the movie Contact? Yeah. Where she sits in that big orb thing? Yeah. It's kinda like that. Alright. Just put it in your brain. The ultimate stress reducer, according to the makers of the Magnusphere, is sitting in or sitting inside its giant six-foot vertical loop and getting bombarded with whole-body magnetic resonance. True. That is true. They were all true. They were all true. <laughs> I was gonna try to make up fake ones, but then I started looking, and they were all so good. <laughs> So I just use all true ones. I need a Magnusphere. Do you look like Darth Vader when you come out of it? You know when you will, There'll be thing. pictures of all these guys. You'll get yeah. to see them all. Yeah. It's cool looking, man. Oh, and I heard the Patriots have one of those too. The Magna thing? Yeah. Oh, of course, of course they, do. they do. Of course they do. Did the did the candle help to relax you? Uh, yeah. I feel very soothed, relaxed, Great. calmed. We got two out of five. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine how bad I would have done if I was stressed. Yeah, it's a good thing we lit the candle. Yeah. All right, that's all. You win. Uh, Yay! Congrats! <laughs> I did the it. Passing score was one. <laughs> you got two. Yes. Beat the spread. All right, in order. Oh my! Just to refresh. Middle school splash lagoon. March two through four. High school splash lagoon. March nine through ten. And I can add. Mm. How exciting is this? Ooh. Registration is live, people. Whoa! See, he's way ahead of me. Ready to go. So I don't go have online. Any sort of registration for middle school. To the youth page on the website. Ten guys, ten girls. If you don't make it, you don't make it. Starting now. No! Wow! Could is hmm. <laughs> that was like the now, now, not the future, now. Because right. it's live now. No, it is live now. As so, as there, people could technically. If you, you might stumbled. have registrations before. If you stumble onto the website, nice. Yeah, you could. That's the only way to get to the website. You have to stumble. <laughs> it's like the it's like the Harry Potter train thing. You I need to like go through it. I think it's kind of you have to know what you're looking for to find it on our website. Yeah, that's yeah. true yeah. too. That's true too. Also, big news: April twenty seventh. Mm. Yes, yeah. April twenty seventh. Fun for all. 
If you've ever thought to yourself, what would it be like to ride go-karts all night long? All night long. All night. Then this is your chance to find out. And if you've ever thought to yourself, I wonder what it would be like to play a virtual reality game all night long. Then this is your chance to find out. And if you've ever thought to yourself, I wonder what it would be like to play with batting cages and miniature golf and arcade games all night long. Then this, this is, is your it. chance to find out. $30. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. You, I really cheap. don't think. I think if you went to Fun for All for an hour, you'd, put, you'd spend thirty dollars. If you had, if you were in middle school, or high school, and you had a, a a a boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah, and you wanted to take that boyfriend or girlfriend to a movie, oh yeah, you couldn't do it. Nope, you couldn't do it for thirty for thirty bucks with the popcorn. With the with the popcorn, that was a, that was a good Pittsburgh. With the popcorn, with the popcorn, with the popcorn. With the popcorn. <laughs> can't have it. With the popcorn. Oh my! Sign up now. That's yep. live too. Oh my gosh! Fun for all is up online. You can sign up. It is fun for everyone today. Whew! Again, so much being announced. Yeah, there's a lot. So much going on. Did you hear Todd Haley's leaving the Steelers? Yep. It's another announcement. It's not ours, but it is an announcement. I've announced it to the world. Now you know. Till next time, I'm Jay. And I'm Ed. And we'll see you. Tom you should come to Brady the event just to see really well. Gavin's outtakes. Boop. Did you hear all the ways that I was talking while I was running? That's kind of like an actress <laughs> thing that I started. <laughs> it strikes fear in my mind. Trying to really hone my craft. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is good practice. What are you doing?